Quick disclaimer, I'm aware of Sony demanding a PlayStation Network account be linked with Steam in order for players to keep playing the game. This is unfortunate and it's not something that I'm a fan of, but this video is not going to be about this. It's going to be about async compute and it's something that I've been working on throughout the week trying to capture some footage with a different combination of hardware. So without further ado, let's start the video. In this video, I wanted to take a look at the async on and off option in Helldivers 2 and see how that affects the performance in the game. Now, the way I understand it is that async compute essentially utilizes your GPU more efficiently where the software can take advantage of most of your GPU essentially to render out different functions. And there is a lot of definitions online of how this can be used, but it's implied that having it enabled is a good thing. So with that said, I've always actually left it on, but I made a video looking at the new AMD driver in Helldivers 2, where we looked at some nice performance gains for the RX 7900 XTX we tested. And in that video, in the comments section, I got a couple comments of people essentially saying that disabling async compute, you can actually gain quite a bit more performance. And I wanted to look into this because it kind of didn't sound right. There is a post about this on the Helldiver subreddit where it essentially implies that async compute is a setting that lets your GPU do some CPU math to help with the processing. And it's something that should help with slower CPUs like on consoles, for example. So what I've done is I've taken two of my fastest GPUs, RTX 4090 and 7900 XTX, and I've tested three CPUs. I've tested the 7800X3D, which is pretty fast, Ryzen 5900X, which is still a pretty fast gaming CPU, and a Ryzen 2600, which is pretty slow. It's a, it's a few years old now, six core CPU. So will async compute help us in any way? Well, that's what we're gonna find out. Let's take a look. Let's go over the settings first. We're gonna be targeting 1440p and we're going to try to present a GPU bound and also a CPU bound scenario. So this is the 7900 XTX with a 7800X3D with async compute enabled at 1440p native. And as you can see, we're getting 124 FPS pretty much locked. And we're going to be doing this type of test where we sit still because we don't want variability, right? We want to see how our system behaves with this option enabled and disabled. Now let's go ahead and disable async compute and see if we see any changes in FPS. So we're getting around 123, 124. And yeah, we seem to be getting the same here. So not much of a difference really. And if we put them side by side with async on on the left and async up on the right, it's still the same, not much of a difference. And we appear to be pretty much mostly GPU bound here. We're at 98%. As a matter of fact, why don't we make sure that we are GPU bound for sure? To make sure that we're entirely GPU bound though, what I did was I went to ultra super sampling from 1440p native that we were at before. And this is more than 4K resolution, even though the game doesn't tell you what ultra super sampling is. I know this GPU can get more than this FPS at native 4K, so it has to be beyond that. And we are GPU bound, and async compute does not seem to do anything for us. However, let's check out a CPU bound scenario, because it seems to be more CPU focused. Let's go back into the settings and turn async compute back on, and we're going to go from ultra super sampling to 1440p quality render now. So now we're below 1440p and we seem to be CPU bound. We have 86, 87% GPU use and we're at 146, 147 FPS with async compute enabled. Let's try disabling it and see if we gain any FPS. Let's go back into settings and turn async compute on and reset our counter. And yeah, we went from 146 FPS to 160 FPS, that's, that's a pretty decent gain, I guess. It looks like we gain around 15% more FPS by turning async compute off, and you can see our GPU use is now higher as well. It's almost like the opposite is happening, right? Async compute is supposed to utilize more of your GPU to take the load off your CPU, and that's kind of what's happening with it off. Strange. Let's take a look at the RTX 4090 and see if we see similar behavior. 
I've gone ahead and put in my 4090 in the PC now, and we're going to begin with the same thing. 1440p native, max stop graphics, and async compute enabled. And we seem to be getting around 130, 130 FPS. And if you pay close attention to the GPU use, we are below 99%. So here, I believe we are CPU bound. So we should technically gain a little bit more FPS by disabling async compute. So let's check it out. Let's try to do that. Back into the settings, turn async compute off. And uh, yeah, we went from 130 FPS to 146. And if you pay close attention, our GPU use went higher as well. We went from 93% to 98%. So again, it's almost like turning async compute off. You're getting more FPS in a CPU bound scenario, almost like you're using your GPU to do some CPU work. That's very interesting. You would expect that to happen with async compute on though. But anyway, let's try ultra super sampling. I want to present a GPU bound scenario like we did with the 7900 XTX and we didn't see any performance gain in that case and in this case too we're at 64 FPS I think we were in the mid 40s with the 7900 XTX on the same settings so here too even though we're not at 99% we are GPU bound at 64 FPS with async compute on now if we turn it off maybe we'll hit that 100% I don't know let's check it out Back into the settings, async compute off, and we are, well, we went from 63 FPS to 66 FPS, and our GPU use went from 97% to 99%. So yeah, we were able to gain just a little bit more FPS. Very interesting though, turning async compute off got us to 99% GPU use, and I was always saying how this game you're not able to hit 99% was because I had async compute on. Interesting. So looking at them side by side with 1440p ultra super sampling, we have two more FPS with async compute off and GPU use from 97 to 99%. We're gonna go ahead and try quality. So render below 1440p and see what we can gain there. But as of now, I don't see any benefit to turning async compute on. I mean, maybe we'll be able to see a difference with the Ryzen 2600. That's to come. But let's go ahead and drop below 1440 render. Back into the settings now. And we're going to go ahead and turn async compute on again. And then go from ultra super sampling to quality 1440p. So now we're rendering below 1440p again, like we did with the XTX. And we're at 146 FPS. We're getting exactly the same FPS as we did on the 7900 XTX, which makes sense because we're CPU bound. We're bound to the capabilities of our CPU. No matter the GPU we put in, it's going to be the same as long as we're CPU bound. So let's go ahead and turn async compute off and see how much we gain. Back into the settings, async compute off. We were getting around 143 FPS with async compute on. With async compute off, we're at 166, 165 FPS. It's basically the same exact numbers we got on the 7900 XTX in this same resolution because we're CPU bound in both scenarios. But I don't know. At this point, I'm thinking if maybe async compute off is supposed to be on, on the settings i'm not really sure but i mean you're clearly seeing it that it's the same exact thing and we're still cpu bound by the way although our gpu use went up from uh the 80s to the low 90s now anyway let's go ahead and check out the 5900x will it be the same thing we're back to the 7900x dx now with a ryzen 5900x async compute on and we're not going to waste our time going to super sampling because we already know that in a gpu bound scenario it doesn't really matter so much so we're going to begin with 1440p native and we seem to be getting around 111 fps on the xdx with async compute on now let's go ahead and turn it off and see if we get any more fps we weren't maxed out on the gpu use so there is a chance that we could be getting a little bit more and that seems to be the case not much we went from 111 to 114 and we now have a slightly higher gpu use so again not much of a benefit to having async compute on at all really you know because 
off in this case gave us more FPS. But maybe that will matter more on Horizon 2600, which we're going to check out next. Back to the settings now, we've enabled async compute again, and we're going to go from 1440p native to quality render skill. So we're below 1440p render, and GPU use is at 76%. We're getting around 111, 112 FPS. That seems to be the limit for the 5900X, it seems. So will we gain more FPS disabling async compute? Let's check it out. Async compute off. And we went from 112, 113 to 124. Not really a massive gain, but this seems to be the limit of the 5900X. And on this side-by-side -side comparison with 1440p quality render scale, we seem to be getting around 9% extra performance, which is actually a bit less than with a 7800X 3D. We saw a 15% gain, right? But we do see the similar scenario. We went from 78 GPU use to 82% GPU use. Again, not much of a reason to turn async compute on, but let's take a look at the 4090, see what that looks like over there. We're back on the 4090 now with a Ryzen 5900X. We're targeting 1440p native with async compute enabled, and we seem to be getting around 101, 100 FPS with a 73% GPU utilization. We do appear to be CPU bound, so let's go ahead and turn async compute off and see if there's any FPS to be gained. Let's turn async compute off, and we were getting 100 FPS, and now we went to 113 FPS with GPU utilization from 70 to 82%. It looks like at 1440p native with the 4090, we're able to gain around 12% more. And we are CPU bound in both of these scenarios. But we're also going to check out 1440p quality render scale. Just because I want to test that as well. It should theoretically remain the same. But I guess we're going to find out. But again, we see the same similar behavior. 73% GPU use to 83% with async compute off. Let's go ahead and try 1440p quality. Let's go ahead and drop to 1440p quality here with async compute on and we're getting 100 FPS. Like I said, it would be the same because we are CPU bound. We were CPU bound at 1440p with the 4090 just because it's such a fast GPU that it should be the same. Let's go ahead and turn async compute off and then we'll move on to the next part of this. Async compute off, and we should be getting around 112, 100, yep, 113 FPS, just because we are CPU bound, like we were at 1440p native. The only thing that's changed is we have lower GPU use this time because we lowered the rendering resolution. What we're going to try now is the Ryzen 2600, and according to that thread, it's supposed to help with weaker CPUs. I mean, Ryzen 2600 definitely falls into that category. So, will Async Compute on help increase FPS in any way? Well, I guess this is the real test. Ryzen 2600, 7900 XTX, 1440p native, Async Compute on. We're getting around 53 FPS with these weird hitches. Not sure if this happened after the update. I'm not entirely sure. but. That's not the point of this comparison. We're at 55 FPS, 60% GPU use. Again, this CPU is quite slow, very slow for this game. So let's go ahead and turn async compute off. And uh, yeah, we went up a little bit. We were at like 56, now we're at 60 FPS. So again, the same thing. We turn async compute off and we gain more FPS. This is a CPU bound scenario though. We are gonna try ultra super sampling just to kind of rule everything out. But again, I don't see a point in having async compute on, even with a weak CPU. Not really. Looking at this side by side, we see a similar 12% gain in FPS. The only thing that's kind of different though, is the fact that GPU use is either identical or a bit lower on the async off side. That is not what we saw on the previous comparisons. We always were able to see more GPU utilization with async compute off, which translated to more FPS. That is normal behavior. But in this particular case, we saw a gain in FPS with async compute 
off, but also lower GPU utilization. That's kind of strange. Let's take a look at ultra super sampling while we're at it, and then we'll wrap up the video. I bet you even with the ultra super sampling, we're probably going to be still <laughs> CPU bound just because this 2600 is, it's actually not a bad gaming CPU, but in the latest games, it's not really that fast. And yeah, we're at 48 FPS and GPU use went to 96%. We should be GPU bound here just because we know this CPU can do around 52 FPS, right? We're right at that border. So this is with async compute on. Let's go ahead and try turning it off. You know, another thing I noticed is the frame time is a bit smoother now as well. That is very interesting. Maybe because we're not fully CPU bound. Interesting. But with async compute on ultra super sampling, I would say we're getting 50 FPS. So let's go ahead and turn async compute off. And we went from 50 FPS <laughs> to 50 FPS. So not much changed. Just like in the previous GPUs, right? When we were GPU bound, not much changed. I didn't end up recording any 4090 footage though, just because I didn't feel it necessary with the 2600. It's just, uh, it we'd be CPU bound regardless. And we saw similar behavior with the previous CPUs as well. So yeah, I mean, my conclusion about all this, I think this async compute setting is kind of pointless. Uh, if you ask me, because I don't really see a reason why you would have it turned on. Uh, unless it's not working properly. I don't know. But as you've seen, I tested some pretty high-end GPUs with a very high-end CPU. Uh, sort of mid-range CPU and a very slow CPU. And in all scenarios, having async compute enabled didn't help in any way. Unless I'm doing something wrong, you guys, please let me know in the comment section down below. But I did want to take a look at this just because I've seen the comments. And I was under the impression that async compute on would be a good thing. Because it's supposed to utilize your GPU more efficiently. It's something that I would never think to turn off or look at. But thanks to the community and people who mess around with settings, similar to how I do... You know let me know about these things and i find it interesting to take a look at them so if you guys did find this interesting please leave a comment leave a like consider subscribing if you want to see more stuff like this and let me know what you think if i did something wrong or if there's something i didn't look at that i should be looking at please let me know i appreciate you watching and i hope you all have a great weekend and fight for hell divers have a good one bye bye